What's up, family? Welcome back to my motherfucking channel. What's good with it, y'all? What's going on? I hope y'all enjoy the scenery. Um, I'm feeling really connected at this time. I do have a little bit of channel messages for y'all. It's going to be a, um, a read for the family. So, everybody just gather around. Let's sit in duck duck goose mode and just listen. If the energy is right and it's for you, please give it a big thumbs up. And if it ain't, you know, it's okay. I'll catch you in the next video. You can go. You're welcome to go find another channel. You know, somebody who resonates with you more. I ain't with, you know, just staying stuck or hoarding over somebody. So that could be something I'm tapping into. So I feel the energy of like possession. It's almost like somebody wants to possess you. Or you want to possess somebody. And they want to do it in a way. It's like they want to have all this control over you. All this domination over your mind. I'm getting the energy of like. <sighs> this is some deep, heavy dark energy but it feels so right it's almost like poison sweet poison i'm hearing like sweet nothings somebody could be charming you at this time somebody may be coming in to talk to you and tell you all that good shit that you wanted to hear when you was with them but it ain't you know come out until you left them until you stood into your power until you figured out who the fuck you is who you who who, what type of power you hold and it took you to get away from this person it took you to get away from these people for this to happen but I'm getting very sedated energy this person could be somebody who's um, addicted to something they could be on some type of drug or they do drink or they're, they're addicted to something and then I got the sun in reverse so I definitely feel like something was exposed family I feel like Whoever it is I'm speaking to, yeah, with the Ace of Swords coming out is where, as well, Spirit exposed something. It was something you get, I don't, I don't know, it might be tapping into somebody who dreams very vividly. Something was exposed, some light was shined on something I'm getting the, I'm seeing the moon card. Some type of illusion, something was, I don't know, I'm getting liberated. I don't know, I'm getting a lot of energy right now, y'all, and I'm trying to process it. I got the sun card here. That was the first card, but it came out in reverse. When I said somebody wanted to have some type of control over you for the sun card to come out in reverse, the sun card upright means freedom. It means vitality. Somebody wants to control your light. I feel like you're somebody who shines very fucking bright. It's like when you walk in the room, all eyes on you. People you know, people you don't know. It's people out there who embrace your energy, who love you, who will do anything for you, who will protect you. You could have met these people already. Th this could be a new world that you're walking into. This could be something new. I'm just getting new. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like your light shine bright. You like the sun when you walk in the room. But somebody want to control that. Somebody wants to dominate that. I feel like you know who this person is. This could be somebody that you haven't talked to in a while. They could be watching you from afar. I feel like spirit is giving you downloads. This could even be like I'm picking up on somebody who could have met somebody in college. Yeah, something about math class was very significant. I'm also seeing like um, gym. You could have met this person at the gym. And they was a foe from jump. It's like they saw you. They saw your light and they, instead of them embracing it, it's like they wanted it. This could be a friend. This could be somebody who you were in a sexual relationship with. But this is definitely somebody who you cared about. This could even be somebody that you grew up with. And my, my spirits don't lie to me. The devil card. The devil card. So this person could be under some type of illusion. I feel like this person has a mental... um something wrong with them to, to feel like they should or they deserve some type of control over you i feel like this could have been somebody who once had power over you but you snatched your shit back give me give me something else spirit i feel like spirit revealed something to you 
and they have been talking to you, been speaking to you, but you just weren't listening. And I, I, I'm also getting somebody who had been in these, this relationship with somebody for a long ass time, but you just kind of got over it, or somebody just strode you along for a long time. Or I'm getting the energy of a person, whoever this devil energy is. There's somebody who plays with people's feelings. It's like they keep them. I'm hearing, like, I'm channeling that future song where he said something about collection, make them part of my collection, some shit. And then I heard, I'm going to put my demon in her veins. Yeah, that's also future. This person could have a lot of kids. This person could take pride in just, you know, fucking hoes, like just going out, doing them, doing whatever they, you know what I'm saying? They feel like, I'm getting the energy of somebody who's for the streets, but feel like you should be for them. Like you deserve, like they deserve you or they I'm hearing, like, take a piece of my soul. It's like they want your essence. It's like they want to be you. They want to be in your skin. Whoever this is, they're very fucking annoying because I keep scratching my head. You could have even met somebody at a nail. I don't know why I'm saying nail salon. This, you and this person could do this. I just saw 616. You could have also um, met this person at a hair shop. You could also be somebody who wears uh, short hair, long eyelashes. You could also have a piercing in your nose. But I feel like you're somebody who who carries a lot of light. I feel like you being mad, it's, it, it will be very destructive. I also get the energy that this person, whoever this is, they're very fucking destructive. Like, I don't know, man. I just get somebody who want to be you. It's like they want to be in your skin. They don't want to just be beside you. They don't want to be the help or the support. They want to be in you. Like, <laughs> this is some obsessive, weird, this shit is crazy. And I laugh because it's like, you unbothered. You not worried. You not stutting this person. You you probably don't even know that this is going on. This person is probably watching you. I feel like your ancestors and your gods, your spirits, your angels, they have been heavily protecting you from this. But it'll be a joke to you if you did know it. It's because it's like you think of how obsessive and how much you wanted this person. And this could have been you at one moment. But, oh, I'm hearing, oh, it's funny how the tables turn. They want to take your shine. They feel like you wrong for being happy without them. I don't know who I'm talking to. I just saw 744. And then the Ten of Swords just came out and it plopped out. Yeah, I feel like you let go of these demons. You ended that shit. You ended that court with them. I don't know what was revealed. I don't know. And that been coming up heavy in my energy for a lot of readings that I've been doing. Secrets being exposed. Truth being revealed. Cycles being cut. I mean, courts being cut. People being renewed. I'm getting the energy of renewal. Like, the sun is heavily shining on you. Even though you got the sun card in reverse, I feel like that has something to do with somebody trying to dim your light because you're very powerful. I definitely feel like you're heavily connected. Something about your spirit. You may even be a twin. I'm getting, like, Kendrick spirits. Now, you could even be a physical twin born with another person. Or, or you may be running into your twin soon. I'm hearing, like, soulmate connection. If you're single, yeah, this is definitely, like, I feel like you've been solitude for a little while, you know what I'm saying? Kind of kicking back, doing you, finding you. You know, I just recorded a video, kind of getting to know me a little bit, a little bit of backstory. I ain't going to let you, I ain't going to lie, the video was kind of, you know, a little everywhere because I was kind of channeling, but also letting off some nerves at the same time for somebody. And then I got the three of swords. So I'm getting like some of you could be waiting on something to come in. Yeah. Like I said, you have been in solitude for a while. Yeah. And then I got the two of cups at the bottom of the deck with the eight of pentacles. So I feel like you guys could have been manifesting this, whether you know this or not. And I also, I feel the heavy energy on somebody who kind of been, been focused on their work, been focused on their craft. You could be somebody that. Um, works at night. I'm hearing channels. You could even be somebody that's tapped in, very into, like in tune. And I feel like your 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 powers are heightened at night. 
something about the moon, the moon cycle, moon magic. You could even be somebody who likes candles. I'm getting like a lot of herbs. I'm seeing like somebody, it's like I'm, I'm in your room almost. And it's like I'm seeing like packages, like you may go to the botanica and just get all types of herbs. Some you don't know, some you do. Look them up and use them for certain things. You could be somebody who's interested in making medicine to heal the community, like natural herbs. I feel like when you meet this person, it's gonna be on a, it's gonna be like on some healing shit. Like you gonna be doing you healing you while you healing the collective. And I feel like this person, you gonna run into this person because it's something that you offer that heals people, and they're gonna need your services. Y'all, I feel so connected right now. I'm not even gonna bullshit. I'm getting so much energy right now. Like, it's crazy. Some of this energy, I can't even bottle. Like, I can't even, y'all, I might have to go get in this damn water to ground myself or something. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing one, one, well, one. So something about not repeating yourself, not going back into old ways. I'm here like, stay consistent, be persistent. Yeah. And then I'm hearing you almost done. You almost there. What else spirit do you have? The Ten of Swords speaks to ending cycles. It's the ending. You could have even dealt with some type of heartbreak, backstab, betrayal from somebody. It could have been people you love. I'm also seeing like at one point, whoever wants to speak to your circle could have been real big. But then once you start getting to know who you is and isolating yourself and going to her mode, that bitch got real small. And look, all that wind and dust. Damn. Yeah. That spirit, that's confirmation right there. Your shit got real small, and it got so small to the point where you turned around and all you saw in there was you. You could have even had to cut off people who you love dearly. These could have been very close friends. These could have been very close. I just heard very close enemies. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just shuffling. Y'all hear me shuffling, and look what the fuck pop out at the bottom of the deck. Three of swords. These people could have been people that just pulled on your heartstrings because they knew you was a nice guy. They knew you was nice. You know, they wanted to just get a piece of you, get a piece of your essence. It's like everybody around you saw that power, whether it was dark or light. But you didn't, and it took for you to realize that for the narrative to change. And then I got the five of pentacles. These put it, people could have put you in third parties. They could have left you out in the dirt. I'm getting like the energy of energy vampires, people that just drained you, drained you of your essence, drained you of your purity. Yeah, somebody's coming up behind me, y'all. And then I got the seven of swords, sneaky energy temperance the seven of swords temperance and the page yeah i feel like this person definitely watch watches you watches you heavily they you could be doing something on the internet you could be also you could be a tarot reader like also too like you could have met this person at studies or you're going to meet somebody new studying something Yeah, I'm going to end this video here, you guys. If you got something out of it, let me know. By liking it, leave your comments. If they necessary, you know, I'm hearing it. I, ju I just want, I wanted to say, leave your comments if it helps you, because it does help me. And I just keep hearing, keep your foot on your, keep your foot on their neck. Stay consistent. Whatever it is that you're doing, keep doing that shit. Don't stop. No matter how perfect you feel like it need to be, no matter how fucked up you think you it is, no matter what, just keep doing it. And don't worry about the folks because they ain't going to do nothing but dig a ditch for their motherfucking self. You hear me? I love y'all. Stay consistent. Do you. And yeah. See y'all later. Mm -hmm. Bye.